Hello everybody, this is Dark Nova here, getting back to some more Let's Play Trails in the Sky. When last we left off, we investigated the arson at the orphanage. And Agate took over the case. And before that, Clem went to the hideout of the Ravens because he suspected them based on what the mayor's secretary said. And we learned that Agate used to be the former leader of the Ravens. <clears throat> so now that he took over our case, we're actually going to start starring in the play for the school that Clo or the play that Chloe's school is putting on. But before we go about doing any of that, there are a handful of quests that I want to do. So we're going to do these before we start that up, so I don't miss them, and any potentially good rewards they may have. Alright, so first thing first, he wants me to grab something from the Granite Orbital Factory. And also off screen, I, d I killed a few more Shining Palms, just to build my Seapith up. Chloe, I got, Chloe leveled up once. And Estelle leveled up once, and she actually learned the Comet craft from that. Uh, Mr. Tobias? We came here from the guild. Oh, is this about the maintenance kit now? Your timing is exemplary. Will you be able to make the delivery post-haste? You got it. This brick of a thing is all yours now. Brick of a thing? Are you daft? I'm telling you, it's heavy. Very, very heavy. Here, feel for yourself. You okay with it? No bone fractures forming, to your knowledge? It's filled to the brim with replacement parts and every tool you can imagine for replacing an orbit light of that size. It's no big deal at all. I'm stronger than I look. Believe me. We just need to carry this to the lighthouse, right? Indeed. To Vox, the lighthouse keeper. He's expecting it. Its contents are quite valuable, so please be as careful as you can. I still can't believe it. Such responsibility. Such strength. Such grace. Ah, uh, youth. Uh, what? Jean told me about you two. But seeing for myself, just how peppy you are, it lifts my spirits to the sky. <laughs> peppy? No, no. We're just, uh, professional? You're young, that's what you are. And naturally, I was worried about entrusting something so valuable to potentially reckless youths. But I worry no more. Hmm. <laughs> we may be young, but that doesn't automatically mean we're reckless. Oh, no, no, you've got it all wrong. I just meant that I wasn't sure how old man Vokt would take it. Oh, why do you say that? Is there something we should know about him? Well, you might say he's a bit of an eccentric. He can be a little abrasive when it comes to younger people. So in other words, he's a weirdo. That's one way to put it. Just try to understand where he's coming from. Being a lighthouse keeper is lonely work, so a little eccentricity is to be expected. The lighthouse is crucial for ships to be able to navigate safely. So the Keeper's work is a very big responsibility. Gotcha. So, really important work. When he was a fisherman, he used to uh, down plenty of drinks at Lavantar. Now that he lives at the lighthouse, though, he rarely gets a chance to have his favorite drink. It's pretty sad. I'd really like to go ahead with getting him what he wants, but... Well, I've probably said too much. Either way, don't let the old man's unpleasantness get to you, okay? Okay, got it. Is there anything else before we go? Nothing in particular. Once you're done, I'd like you to return here. Take care, and I'll see you later. Alright, so... The lighthouse is west of Minoria Village. Just need to go south of the fork in the road. And down onto Promontory. Down onto the Promontory. Alright, the lighthouse is west of Minoria Village. So we're going to go start that. Yeah. I am not foreseeing much story progress being made today. Or this episode. Oh, there's a shining palm down there. Oh, well.
Oh, dang it. Wrong way. All right, just do some basic attacks and be on my merry way. Mm. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of back and forth here. But I, I want... I don't need the money, but I want the money. I more so want the points to get the better quartz from that comes with upgrading them, or that comes with ranking up. Just super speed through this. Don't need to fight any of the enemies. Ah, yes. I'm at the lighthouse now. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I wouldn't feel right leaving the lighthouse unattended to go get help. But on the other hand, I can't very well leave things as they are either. My, my. Who have we here? What brings you to Varane Lighthouse? Are you, by any chance, the lighthouse keeper Vogt? Oh, ho, I certainly am. That emblem on your chest wouldn't happen to be... Oh, that? Yeah, we're bracers. Junior bracers, at any rate. Well, why didn't you say so earlier? Y'all should rush to the assistance of an octogenarian in need, not pretend like you didn't notice his forlorn expression. Er, what? What are you talking about, old man? Why didn't you say anything to us? Because you didn't ask. Shouldn't the first words out of your mouth... It's very to be something like, are you in need of any assistance, my elderly friend? I tell you, young bracers these days are all fight, no care. Where's the love? Where's the compassion? Y'all are worlds apart from that manly bracer I worked with before. Now that was a bracer you could set your clocks by. Yes, sirree. I reckon that was seven years ago. Eight, perhaps. However long ago it was, he was better than you two. Uh, well, I can't tell you how much I'm simply loving this abusive lecture of yours. You were saying something about needing assistance? He really is, just as the factory owner said. I was? Oh, right, right, right. Yes, dire need. Dire need indeed. You see, I was out cutting the grass earlier, and silly me, I forgot to shut the door when I left. And wouldn't you know it, by the time I got back, there were monsters. Monsters all over the place. And with monsters skittering about, I daren't go back in there. I'm not that crazy. So before we hand over the maintenance kit, you want us to do some good old-fashioned monster smashing. Is that the gist? I think that pretty much goes without saying, doesn't it? Maintenance kit? What in blazes are you talking about? That's why we're here. We've come in response to a request to deliver a maintenance kit to this lighthouse. But clearly, there are bigger concerns at the moment. Indeed, it's just as you say. Can't exactly do any inspections if it's not safe in there. Do you have any idea how many of them are, there are? Not in the slightest. All I know is it's not just one, so be on your guard and don't die. Don't worry, bracers never say die. I do have to wonder, though, why monsters would wander into a lighthouse. Probably drawn to the septium. That light is produced by a particularly large orbit, as you might imagine. Spot on, whippersnapper. When this happened before, the monsters were all gathered together at the top. Oh, well, that makes sense. Well, if it makes sense, then get going, girl. Use that brutish body of yours and show those monsters what's what. Let's help the old man. You bet. Let's do it to it. It's almost inspection time, so please take care of these these things as quickly as you can, okay? And make sure you don't let your guard down, as those things are pretty nimble. Understood. I'm ready. Let's do this thing.
See, take him down. Ah, just barely not enough. Fantastico. Oh, with his reduced strength, that's really good. Oh, and with my increased money, I should probably make uh, get Chloe the good armor. Not a battle suit. That was that's a special thing. Oh, she already has, she already has a shield vest. Oh, she is. Actually pretty, she is actually pretty decent in terms of stats. Old man says these things are nimble. They just stand there menacingly. Oh, come on now. Oh, dang it. That was a bad play on my part. This is nice, though. Estelle, why do you keep missing my girl? Joshua, why do you keep missing my guy? Getting decent water seepeth out of this. Oh no. They're coming. I'll just hit him with a hell gate. I think Chloe is meant to be the impromptu white mage based on her starting quartz, but she uh, she she makes a half decent frontliner at the moment. Makes a half decent frontliner, and she's got that um she's got the debuffing skill. Reduces their strength and their attack and defense by 50%. Making them virtually worthless. Unable to do any damage and take extra damage. Took down all the monsters. That's good. But let's go to the top anyway. Wait, did I come out of the hatch? Oh, no. But I am authorized. He gave me permission to go up there and check the monsters out. At least... I said he did. Alright, so we got this extra little mini quest done for the old man.
Monster busting went fine, my guy. How did the monster busting go? Eh, stick a fork in it, old man, because this job is done. The monsters have all been taken care of. Everything should be back to normal in there now. Oh my, that's splendid news. At long last, I can hold the maintenance kit in my hands and use its contents to make this lighthouse, nay, this world, a better place. So what are we waiting for? If it's safe now, then let's get inside, shall we? Let's. Man, it feels like I haven't been here in ages. I think we should get our work finished ahead of time. Mr. Early Bird catches the worm, right? Yes, Joshua, but the second mouse gets the cheese. Something like that, yeah? Salutations! I come on behalf of the Bracer Guild, bearing a package for you. It's a little heavy, though, so be careful lifting it. Yep, everything's here, all right. I appreciate you bringing this all the way over here. Oh, no worries. It's our job, after all. The townsfolk are actually really worried about you, too, so I'm just glad to see you're doing so well. Work must be tough, so take care of yourself, okay? Don't overexert these old bones of yours. I'll do that. Thank you for your concern. Blunt as it be. You starting to understand what it means to possess a Karen soul? Uh, nope. Not really. I'm no good with those touchy-feely concepts, I guess. And here I thought you'd grown up a bit. Ah, well. I guess you've still got a ways to go before you can match the level of that bracer. Actually, I'd like to hear more about him. What kind of bracer was he? If the stories I've heard are true, he was quite an amazing man. He was a great help to me seven or eight years ago, but sadly, I can't even remember his name anymore. He was a hell of a man, though. No offense, but he made you guys look like crap by comparison. Though there is a bit of a resemblance, actually. He had reddish-brown hair just like yours. In fact, even your eyes have the same basic hue. Reddish-brown hair and the same color and the same eye color as Estelle's? Could that bracer have been... I'm very much hoping you guys will rise to his level, given the time. Though I suspect I may be wishing for things that are never to be. At any rate, thanks for all your hard work, kids. I'd best get to work. Time to start my rounds. Oh yeah, don't you take... Oh yeah, well, you take care now. Don't break your hip. Excuse us, please. So, sounds like Pops was here too. <laughs> so, are you thinking what I'm thinking, Joshua? Yeah, I couldn't help but read into it myself. Seven or eight years ago would be right on the money. The brace whom Vogt was comparing you, the, uh, manly fellow? Is it someone you know? Yeah, you could say that. I'm pretty sure he was talking about our dad. Oh? If that is who he was talking about, though, then of course we're not going to measure up. Yeah, seriously. Though I guess we are bracers like him now, so it's kind of flattering, in a way, to be compared to him at all. If we want to make names for ourselves like him, though, we really have to take it one step at a time. Catch up, bit by bit, day by day. But even then, I think he's a little out of our league. Haha, <laughs> yeah, maybe. But I can only believe that one day we'll totally outclass him. I mean, we pretty much rule. Haha, <laughs> that's a very estelle thing to say. <laughs> thanks, I think. Anyway, we'd best get going. This is no time to be horsing around. If we're going to become world-class bracers, we got to get moving. You're absolutely right. Let's hit the road and see where it takes us. Cool. Twofer. Let's go. Rocking it out. Was that actually a twofer? Might have been a twofer. Which would be nice. Ah, the Chloe tail. <laughs> That's that then, indeed. I think I might want to explore the Amberl Tower next episode before progressing the story even more. If it'll let me go in. Oh. Too much speed running.
Yeah, I want to get all these side quests done now because they're all on short duration, so I don't want to... I don't want to progress the story and miss out. And I think as soon as I enter the Genesis Royal Academy and start doing things for the festival, they're going to expire, so gotta do them now. I don't want to miss out on that potential quartz that they might give me. Like I did one with the um, replace the orbit light bulb thing. Not where I want to be. Here's where I want to be. Because he said come back to me. Whoops. I guess you managed okay. The delivery went pretty smoothly. And the old man was doing well. Ah, okay. Sounds good then. Later then. I'll be in touch if anything comes up. Take care then. See you later. Alright, so now we have Secret of the Old Map. Help me in this question. Please contact me. I'll be waiting at the chapel. Alright. Go to the chapel and must be you. Huh? I saw you guys the other day. Nice to see you again. Oh, hi. You're the guy we met on the beach, right? You can call me Jimmy. You really saved my skin before, so let me thank you again. So, have you checked out the bulletin board today? Well, yes. But why in the world did you pick here to meet of all places? Well, I kind of stand out here, don't I? I mean, it costs a lot to put up one of those requests, and I figure people will see me and ask, Hey, why are you in the chapel? And then I'll be like, so that you can help me find some awesome treasure. Well, then how about we get down to business? That request here certainly sounds intriguing. <laughs> Glad you agree. Yep, I actually just acquired an ancient map a short while ago. And you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Wouldn't believe what now? It leads to the treasure of the great pirate Shermer. What? No way! But, um, I don't really know who that is. You've never heard of Shermer? Aren't you from Ruan? Or wait, are you from somewhere else? Uh, either way, Shermer! How can you not know? Don't go making assumptions. If memory serves me correctly, Shermer was a pirate that used to um, work in the waters around Ruin about 100 years ago. Precisely. Nicely done. Leave it to the Royal Academy to teach the right things. Shame about the uniform, though. Wow, you know a lot, Chloe. Come on, Estelle. It's not that impressive. It's just a story I heard, that's all. I'd like to ask you to look for Shermer's treasure. The location is marked on the map. Do you remember where I was when we met before? It was a pit in a sandy beach. The Gull Seaside Way, right? Exactly. The map has that pit marked. Is that why you were there? That's right. I was conducting a field survey. And since I found the place, monsters have started showing up. So I figured that I should get some professionals to take over. So what's next after the pit? The map shows an X to the southeast of it. I figure that's got to be the location of the treasure. You might be right. Oh yeah, I need to make a note of this. Well, let's take a minute to work out a plan. We go to the beach in Ruan, find the pit, and then go right directly southeast from there. Well, that's that, then. You've done a great job. Thank you. Hmm, but will we ever find it? All we know is it looks southeast from the pit. Yes, and considering how wide the beach is, that still leaves a large area to search. Yeah, we just don't have enough information. Hey, come on, guys. Don't be getting all negative on me now. If you comb every inch of the beach on the Gold Seaside Way, I'm sure you'll find it somewhere. So, in other words, treat it like a test of endurance. Sounds right up your alley, Estelle. Well, I suppose you're right, but still, it wouldn't hurt to have a tiny bit more to go on. It's not the most efficient way to go about it, but what other choice is there? We'll just have to search the beach top to bottom and hope we find something. Uh, I guess you're right. Okay, if we find anything, we'll be sure to let you know. I'm counting on you. Any treasure we find, we split equally. Oh, boy. This is not going to be happy McFun times. This is going to be unhappy McSad times. Uh, 
Oh. I guess it doesn't really matter where I put haze. Much better. All right, let's go find us some treasure. I hope. So that's the pit he was in. So southeast would be probably around that corner. There's the pit. Oh boy. This is gonna suck. Suck something fierce. So this is the pit he was in. I don't think it'd be in the monster. Mm. We basically just have to follow the beach heading toward Ruan. We just have to follow the beach heading toward Ruan. Get these enemies off the map. Ah, yes. Because he has fire attributed to his weapon. I have I don't even know where to begin looking. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. God dang rocks. <sighs> Alright, just basic attack the hell out of them. Fused now. Oh, I can actually see it on the map a little bit. So, this is rather silly. I looked up what to do for this particular quest. So, I didn't have to comb the whole literal beach. And... The pit he was referring... Like... The pit he was referring to wasn't even on... The treasure he was referring to wasn't even on the same map you found him on. For some reason. So we found him on the we found him on the second map of the Gold Seaside, but the treasure is actually on the third map. Wrapped all the way around here. Skull daggers and torn map. Wow, awesome daggers. They seem pretty ancient. From the look of them, they may even date back to the Orb of Revolution. Well, what about the piece of paper? Looks like a piece of a sea chart. Do you think maybe this is the treasure that Jimmy was talking about? Sorry, I don't think this has anything to do with it. I'd say this probably washed ashore from somewhere else. It might have been cargo from a shipwreck. Yes, I believe you're right. I heard that such accidents happen often long ago. Oh, so before airships, everyone traveled by water, right? I wonder if this beach is on an old trade route or something, then. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't put it on the same map. I don't know why...
not not worth losing ten magic for three attack. Not worth it at all. Especially when he's got my highest AoE. Or my largest AoE spell. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. I prefer taking the the wider route. <laughs> Hey, Jimmy. Oh, you're back. Any sign of the treasure? Um, well, we haven't found anything substantial yet. But we just found a couple of old daggers and a beat-up map. A sea chart? Whoa, that is big stuff. Please, let me see it. Hey, calm down. I don't want to die of excitement or anything. Whoa, is this what I think it is? Oh, wow, this is incredible. This is one of Shimmer's treasure maps. What? Hmm? Now, hold on a second, mister. You just said a minute ago that you had the treasure map already. That had to have been the treasure map map. My map shows the location of this map, which shows where the actual treasure is. This is getting confusing. But I found the chart inside of a barrel. Let's not worry about that. Sometimes we just have to suspend our disbelief to get through the day. It may seem a little strange that we'd find a sea chart like that, but I kind of want to believe that there's something to all of this. <laughs> as do I. Hmm, well, it is something to think about. Well, as long as our client is happy, we're happy, even if we're also very confused. Oh, that's right. Hey, Jimmy, what about the daggers we found in the chart? With the chart, hmm? You guys can keep those. I don't have much in the way of mirrors, so it's the only payment I can offer. Please take them. Share in the mystery with me. Okay, thanks. Wow, this really is amazing. This sea chart is a spectacular find. <laughs> Looks like I'll be busy again real soon. Whoa, I can't stick around here. I've got to take this to O'Neill and get it deciphered. He's going to flip. Who's O'Neill? Later. Thanks for your help. I guess we don't get to know who O'Neill is. O'Neill. Oh, okay. Now I get it. So, who is he? He's an older gentleman who runs a general store. He tells lots of interesting stories, but tends to blow them out of proportion. Yeah, I get what you mean. So I guess that Jimmy's been taken in by the old man's tall tales? Yes, so it would appear. <sighs> I knew it sounded too good to be true. But, if it is true, then maybe that chart really is the one from his fish tales. That's possible. <laughs> I guess it is a little mysterious. Hey, if we believe it, in it, I wonder if maybe it would pay off. Honestly, though, I think Jimmy believes a little too uh, fervently. Still, chasing your dreams isn't a bad way to live. Let's go for my uncle who's dead set on heading out on the Crone Trail. I don't know where Amelia's at. The sapphire glim, a treasure of the house Dalmor was stolen from the mayor's residence. We try to find her about to the candelabrum ASAP. Alright. My traveler causing problems for everyone, Air Linton. So let's go to the Air Linton next. So to the Aryan Causeway and Air Linton. Get back in that AOE circle. Not enough damage. I 
Hellgate should be able to finish them off. Estelle, no. Oh, I guess it wasn't really worth it. These things should be a little worth it, though. Oh, dang it. How did that not kill him? How did the poison not kill him either? Whatever. I mean, that was some EXP, I guess. Average to about six apiece. Not enough damage for me to worry. But I took one down. And those things still hurt like a beast. But with the attack down, defense down, it's become significantly more manageable. I didn't need to use that second lot here. Eh, whatever, though. <laughs> hmm, I don't hear anything. Damn it, what's going on? Is Royal Army really going to just roll over for some bigwig? What are they doing? If I'd look some, I'd say they're just ordinary travelers. However, however, however what? I have to wonder why there isn't a single guard. Now that you mention it, maybe something big is going on? That, I do not know. But I think we should ask a guard when we find one. Sounds good to me. So, has his grace changed his mind? He is not the sort to do so, once he has decided on something. In light of that, I believe he'll be staying here. Hmm, I see. Then we'll have to wait for the braces to arrive before we can do anything more. I'm afraid so. If that's all, then I shall take my leave. Wish us luck. Huh? I think I know that guy. Oh, it's you. You're braces, aren't you? Thank Adios you're here. The name's Chief Warrant Officer Han. Nice to meet you. I'm Estelle, bracer in training. And I'm Joshua, also in training. The bulletin board said that a traveler was calling, causing trouble? Yes, I'm afraid so. We do have an unsavory character, and dealing with him is proving most difficult. Do you think you might be able to help us out? Let's do it. Sure, why not? Thank you. You'll be doing us a big favor. Okay, let me fill you in on the details. Hmm, there's been little progress to speak of. So, what's with those guys over there? They're the victim of this current little issue. The traveler in question is currently in the dining hall. In the dining hall? Yes, we're hoping that food will persuade him. For the sake of the others here. Persuade him? Okay, just who is this troublesome traveler? Well, to be honest... Hey! 
You're in charge here, right? You have to do something. Are you just going to let this kind of bullying go unchallenged? The Royal Army is supposed to be on the side of the citizens, right? If so, then do something about this. Now, hold on, all of you. Calm down, please. I'm sick of being calm. I understand. Just please take a step back. Joshua, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. For now, I want you two to check on the dining hall. Okay, we will. Come on, let's go. All right. But, sir, if we reserve all the rooms and the dining hall, what will I tell the other guests? Why can't you see where I'm coming from? Your Grace, I feel I must agree with him. Perhaps we should return to Ruan as originally planned? Quiet, Philip. I like it here. Particularly since it has a lovely view of Airletton's waterfall. So, I gave up my room for you to come here instead. What a loser. I hate him. I hate him so much. But, sir... It had to be you, didn't it? You're that self-centered Duke guy from before. Hmm? Well, well, if it isn't the Bracers. You're late. We've been waiting for you. Don't tell me. That's your troublesome traveler? Do you see anyone else here? <sighs> Fine. It's no wonder we recognize the guy who was talking to the chief warrant officer. The Duke says he intends to stay here. He insists he has to rent all the rooms as well as the dining hall. He only needs one freaking room. He really is as selfish as selfish gets, isn't he? Oh dear, he is a troublesome fellow. Royalty or not, what does he expect us to do? Make everyone else go camping? And that's where you come in, hopefully. And that's where you come in, hopefully. Can you do something to help? Ideally, convince him to go back to ruin or give him a little nudge over the falls? You want me to do it? Isn't tactical negotiation part of your job? We're just soldiers, you know? We train with guns and swords, and negotiating with a sword can be somewhat messy. And what makes you think I am any different? I'm good at hitting stuff, not talking. They usually teach that stuff to someone with a knack for it. Josh was the guy with the silver tongue, not me. But still, we can't just stand by while this is going on. Hmm. Please, even if you can't convince him with words, there's always your staff. Ugh, okay, okay. Ugh, I hate this kind of stuff. Well, I have faith in you, at least. Let me give it to you straight. You can have all the faith in the world, but I don't. So don't get your hopes up. I'm sure you'll do fine. Well, thanks for that. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, I remember you. Hey, uh, fancy seeing you here. Where you go, trouble follows, huh? Hmm? Who are you talking to, Philip? Okay, gotta start this off right. Greetings, Your Grace. I'm here to collect you. Collect me? I don't recall ordering someone to do so. And where did you travel from? The mayor's estate. He asked for me to come here. Ah, I see. That is quite admirable of him. But I have no desire to return to Ruan this, on this evening. I've already decided to stay here at Air Letton. Okay, double or nothing. Gotta change his mind, but make him feel like it's his idea. You really intend to stay at this junky old place? I mean, look around. I don't think this place deserves the business of the next king. Hmm. You declare things I already know to be true. I never believed this place to be worthy of my presence. It is, however, occasionally interesting to live as the common folk do, briefly. Well, I get that, but I don't think they even have a high-class chef here. Not to mention, I'll bet it's not even very sanitary. Urgh. You think so? Yes, now that you bring it to my attention, this place does look a bit on the filthy side. Hmm. I suppose I can not simply stay at such a place. And now for the sales pitch. Your Grace, by your foot. Hmm? What about my foot? There's a huge cockroach. Eek, Philip! Yes, sir. Where's the roach? Where is it? Hurry, hurry up and kill it. Surely, sir, you can expect no better from the common peasantry. Why, I'd wager that there are even monsters infesting the... Eee! Enough, Philip, we're leaving. Yes, sir, as you wish, sir. Thank you so much. Think nothing of it. And all because of one magic word. Cockroach. 
classic. And she had the guts to say that to his face. <laughs> yeah, I needed a good laugh. Hmm, really? That's a relief. I'd been worried we might have to get rough with him. But from what Keith's told me, everything seems to have worked out. Speaking ill of my establishment, certainly seemed to do the trick, didn't it? Um, <laughs> sorry about that. I didn't see any other way to get it to get him other than to tell a little white lie or two. Still, it was unexpected. I didn't know you had it in you to be that sneaky. Ha, <laughs> you never know what I'm capable of when the situation calls for it. To be honest, I just tried to channel Joshua. <laughs> and it certainly seemed like that to me. Yeah, and if not, I'd never have been able to lie with a straight face like that. <laughs> well, lies come in all shades. You did it to help others, so I'm sure that Adios will forgive you for it. Yes, we greatly appreciate it. May you be equally as determined in your future duties. Yep, take care. Well then, if you'll excuse us. She was smart. The only way to deal with someone so full of himself like that is to give them the old inception. Make them think that wanting to leave is their idea. You don't make them leave. You make them want to leave. You make them want to leave, rather. The inflection matters. The inflection matters. All right. So I made no story progress, and I have a I have a I have two left to do. Who's dead set on heading out onto the Crone Trail? I don't know where Amelia would be. Sapphire Glim. All right, we'll just turn these quests in and then we'll call it for now. All right, turn all those quests in. Like for an escort from my uncle who's dead set at heading out onto the Crone Trail. But where do I talk to you at? Um, I'm trying to remember where the mayor's residence was. Was it even was it even on this map, or was it, is or is he reside or does he reside in the south block? I think he resides on the south block. He does not. I'm just a. Oh no, the mayor's estate over here. Never mind. I'm silly. So we'll get the details from Gilbert about this next sub side quest we're going to do. Oh dear. I can't believe the Sapphire Glim was stolen. And why now of all possible times? Ah, you're here. I've been waiting for you to show up. <clears throat> hmm? Ah, Chloe's with you. Yes, I'm accompanying them. We came as soon as we saw the bulletin board. What well, seems to be the problem? As you can see, this pedestal used to be adorned with the candelabrum. Oh, man. It really just disappeared without a trace, huh? Things being what they are, I would like to ask you to conduct a search. What say you? Are you available? We most certainly are. Fine with me. Sure thing. Excellent. Now let me give you some background. The stolen item is a candelabrum called the Sapphire Glim. It is a fine piece of craftsmanship dating back to just after the Orbital Revolution. A Dalmore family heirloom, in fact. It would sell for hundreds of thousands of Mira were it ever to be placed on the open market. Hundreds of thousands of Mira? I see. It's probably not an issue of petty burglary, then. Huh? It's not? You'd have to have some kind of safe way of laundering something that valuable. So whoever took it must be well connected. I get it. So that would rule out most of your everyday thieves. Well, actually, 
Money wasn't the primary motivation for this crime, it seems. Huh? What do you mean? Look at this card. That which nests here is a beast more dire than any other. Continue to give praise to the spirit whose blue light was lost in the darkness. Free the spark it left behind and I will be free. Ah, seeker, the eyes of Adio see only the truth and pass it on to you. Look to the three-eyed giant which towers over this settlement. Do so and the blue light will be revealed. Phantom Thief B. I know who that is. What's this? A note left behind on the bare pedestal. It appears to be written by the thief himself. He wants us to know he did it? So I'm inclined to believe. Got it. If all he was after was money, this is a wee bit excessive. What he wrote must have some significance. It sounds almost like some kind of poetry. Hmm. Blue light lost in the darkness. I'm guessing the blue light refers to the stolen candelabrum. Yes, I'd imagine so. The candelabrum is said to have been made at great pains by the townsfolk and given as a gift. That might explain the gift praise to the spirit part. Oh, I get it. So what about the last part? Sounds like it wants us to look in a specific direction. Look to the three-eyed giant which towers over this settlement. Well, it certainly sounds like it's trying to tell us where to go. And the destination has to be important somehow. The settlement bit probably refers to Ruan. So there must be some kind of three-eyed giant somewhere in the city? Hmm, a giant. Well, it's obviously a clue. I'll make a note of it. I can be of little use in this matter. I must be off soon as I have other work to which I must attend. And so I shall leave you to your investigation. Sure thing. First thing is to search this room top to bottom. That won't be necessary. Why not? It has already been looked over by the residents. I'd like for you to search the surrounding area. But the card left you with a distinct clue to follow. Don't tarry. The candelabra must be recovered. I see. Then we will abide by your wishes. I guess the client is always right. Please understand I have no desire to interfere with the professionals in this matter. I greatly appreciate your understanding. Now I'll leave you to concentrate. I'll be upstairs so let me know if you find anything out. Man, this is a strange case. I guess we have to see where that card leads us. There must be a hint somewhere in Ruan. I guess we'll just have to be patient and stay focused. Come on, let's get moving. We're actually going to call it here with that. This has been Ark Nova playing Trails in the Sky. Until next time, everybody, have a good day.